the last one, ePoster for today. Uh, the poster is titled uh, Natural Language Processing Pipeline of Chinese Free Text Radiology Reports. The presentation will be made by Kung Lei Liu. Uh, she received a PhD degree in Control Science and Technology from Tsinghua University in 2016. She is now a lecturer with School of Biomedical Engineering, Capital Medical University. Her research interests include medical information and medical natural language processing. Um, uh, thanks. Okay. Uh, it's my honor to give a presentation here. Uh, today, my topic is an NLP pipeline of Chinese radiology reports. Uh, here is the background. As we all know, recent years, EMR, which is short for the electronic medical records, uh, are very important resources, especially for clinical care and support. However, despite the rapid development of NLP, uh, Chinese EMR processing, especially uh, for the radiology reports, remains challenging compared with English EMR processing. Uh, there are two main, there are the main two ch challenges. The first is the limited compass, and the second is the specific grammatical characteristics of Chinese. Uh, therefore, in our work, we want to design an NLP pipeline for the feature extraction for, uh, for the clinical feature uh, from the Chinese radiology reports. Our pipeline could derive the radiology uh, radiological features. Uh, which composed of one or more entities. Uh, here are some, some examples. Uh, for example, here we could combine liver, liver and the low density together to, uh, to be a radiological feature. Uh, in name of the entity recognition, that is also NER, uh, we also use the lexicon into the deep learning model. Uh, with all these radi radiological features, uh, we used these features for the liver cancer di diagnosis. Uh, here is the overview. Here is the overview of our NLP pipeline. Uh, there are mainly three sections in, in the NLP section. Uh, the first is NER. Then is the normalization of synonyms. Uh, then with some rules, uh, we could get the radiological features. Uh, here is an example. Uh, this is some sentences from a Chinese radiology reports. For example, for the first uh, sentence, the liver is normal in size and shape. Uh, after the NLP section, after the three steps, uh, we could get uh, uh, for the liver is normal in size and shape. We could get the radiology radiological feature. Yeah, the, here is feature one: liver normal in size and shape. Uh, with all these features, we could get the feature matrix. Um, this matrix is, is is sparse. Therefore, we then use the lasso for feature selection, uh, and uh, machine learning methods uh, for the liver cancer diagnosis. We choose the four, four, four popular machine learning methods here. Uh, NER is the most important part in our work. Uh, here is uh, the pipeline of NER. Uh, we used the deep learning method by RSTM CRF here. Uh, with, uh, with the normal features, we also uh, added the lexicon feature. Uh, the lexicon, the lexicon uh, was built by ourselves. Uh, we, with, with, this, with this feature, we could get uh, better performance. Uh, here are the results of our work. Uh, the first result is, the, uh, is, is, is for NER. Uh, we can see from this table, uh, NER with the lexicon, uh, the model could get better performance than the model without lexicon. Uh, then 
we used the features for liver cancer diagnosis uh, with lasso for feature uh, selection. Uh, random forest could, could get the best performance. Uh, here is the conclusion. Uh, in, in our work, we proposed a deep learning method for the radiological feature extraction based on Chinese radiological reports. This work was a comprehensive NLP study on Chinese, uh, on Chinese EMR. Uh, also, our NLP pipeline proposed here could also be implemented in other kinds of Chinese co uh, Chin Chinese clinical texts and other uh, diseases. Uh, this work has been published on IEEE uh, Access. Thanks for the following colleagues contributed a lot in this work. Thanks for your attention. Yang, yeah, you see my screen? Yes. Uh, Diaoling Yang, uh, who presented the abstract and algorithm for multi viewpoints stitching of surgical field assisted by optical positioning technology. Congratulations, and uh, we wish you full heartily to tell us more about the progress of your work uh, in uh, the next uh, time that we will meet. Uh, the second one was from uh, Ni, yeah, uh, Ni Wang. Uh, which uh, presented the work study on the semi-supervised learning um, uh, based uh, patient similarity from heterogeneous electronic medical records. A problem that for me is, is really at the core of every patient. Uh, you know, what happened to people like me? That's how um, this question is summarized. It's a very big question. And the third one is the, goes to Kan Yi multi viewpoint optical positioning algorithm based on viewpoint optimization. So stereo, how we can actually provide uh, uh, physicians uh, with insights uh, through technology. So that's all from uh, the student uh, Eposter Awards. Congratulations to all uh, three of you. Congratulations to all of you. We were inspired by you and uh, we look forward to learn from you.